Okay, listen here, William. I fucking am making a goddamn Minecraft video. Are you happy? I was on break and I haven't been able to, okay? Basically, so. This video, all I did was. I did this. I filmed this one before break. Basically, all I'm doing is making a mob spawner. And I believe this will be the first first of two parts because it took a decent amount of time to do and I just didn't like doing anything. And yes, you will hear Tim in the background because I'm home from school quarantined because I absolutely nearly got Karagana. So it all started a month ago because I decided we overbreak my girlfriend and I decided we went to Florida. And you know, like spring breakers do, you plan a trip and you go to Florida <laughs> like you would. And before this was any talk of Corona or any sort of that stuff, so like whatever, it doesn't really doesn't really matter. And then as stuff getting closer and closer, I realized, damn, bro, uh, Corona is like a problem, man. We both we all were aware of it. We all knew that. Okay, look. It's a possibility it's gonna happen. Do we still wanna go? And at the end of the day, we still thought, you know what? It can't be that bad if we just take precautionary measures. So we decided to go through it. Before I continue, um I wait a second, wait a second, here's a funny moment. I, that scared the crap out of me. So we decided to, you know, just go with the trip. So we went to the trip, but like on the way out of Boston, Logan, we spent, we were like, gosh, everything like airport hand sanitizing, wiping down everything. It was a nightmare for me because it was just like every time I like itched my face, I was committing a tax fraud or actually just like insulting someone straight to their face. Like, oh my goodness, it's just, it's just hand sanitizer. But you know, we had the right intent, so more standing still. I don't know why I'm standing still. Too lazy to change. So <laughs> basically, we eventually got there. We went into we flew out of Boston, which was at the time pretty bad, and we flew to JFK, which at the time New York was in a quarantine, an active quarantine. So it's like we're going from one crap state to another to Florida, which is also a bad state. So it was like you know what, chances are high. So we're like quarantining we're like doing everything we're like hand sanitizing we're wiping we're taking precautions we're coughing at our elbow we're being nice we're spectating why was i doing that oh just see how much caves i need to light up just i don't know why i did that whatever doesn't matter i can do whatever the fuck I want. and we get there it literally looks like the third thing like the third thing they tell us is that oh yeah one of the grandparents might have shooken hands with someone with coronavirus. So just like, go fuck ourselves, right? Like all that effort we put into it, we just go fuck ourselves. So yeah, at this point I'm going to say we nearly died. Now I'm going to clickbait, um, I'm going to clickbait the title and say, yeah, I nearly died. My story of dying from coronavirus, I'm almost dying, it's like super clickbaity. Just, just, just because you know that's what it clicks these days. Um, so anyways, here I am. I am still, I'm just kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like dicking around. Oh, I ran out of cobblestone. That's where I was. I need to go get more. And, uh, spoiler alert, I remove all that cobblestone. So that whole thing was worthless. And it's still working. That's good. I realize that it looks, it looks pretty cool. And it's, it's so it's working. <laughs> I just, I don't know why I screamed there. The audio just peaked like an uncomfortable mouth. <laughs> so, anyways, um. I'm singing? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So, yeah, basically, that the whole trip was great. Aside from all the corona scares and stuff, I really had a great time. Like, me being not the best traveler, I still enjoyed it so much. We have to walk. 
we got to, uh, this was with also the girlfriend I quote unquote broke up with. We, uh, we worked it out. We realized we had our differences, but we had our issues, and we realized that all the problems we were having were solved with lack of communication and there's something I'm bad at, it's definitely communication. So I said, you know what, this was my fault. But she also said, you know what, this was just as much of my fault as your fault. So we both we both kind of forgave each other and we tried our best. We said, you know what, let's see how Florida goes. If Florida goes well, we'll continue with it. And thankfully Florida went really well. So it was, it feels great. I felt really good. You know, I kind of like cast kind of saved it. So, and then in the meantime, we are still we have returned returned status. You know, yeah. I, I mean, I guess there's some people who might question it, but you know, it's whatever. You can go, you can go live your life. I'll I'll be doing Joe's life. You can always question my decisions, but. At the end of the day, I don't really care. You know, it's as long as I'm happy. Yeah. That might not be the same way you're happy, but that's okay. It's kind of fun now because Animal Crossing comes out in three days, and I've been pumped for that. I've been grinding the mobile, the mobile fucking Animal Crossing. Like level 15, I've had it for like five days. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, I'm home quarantined, literally nothing is going to happen, we we'll to be playing a ton of Minecraft. Uh, yeah, so let me talk about the build, what's going on here. So right now, I'm sleeping. But for this, I need to put redstone wiring. I was right here, I'm making a redstone comparator clock that will um, go into a comparator, have a redstone signal, and basically just like... The time will be the amount of repeaters, and I'll go back and forth, and as you saw there, it will turn a bucket on, a water uh, dispense on and off, so that it will push the mobs in and out. This guy nearly killed me. That was cool. I like that. Wasn't as scary as the last one, because I was preventable, but basically it pumped in and out, and here I am getting it all set up. And basically I have to do that for all four sides, and that was kind of a pain in my ass, but, you know, at the end of the day, it was... I knew the reward was going to be so much more worth it, so that I thought, whatever, it doesn't matter, I'll just grind out and do it. So, here I am, killing mobs that spawn under the spawner, which I didn't realize need to light up. Just kind of just grinding away at it, putting water buckets in. I don't realize that, that torch is on. So that was the first layer all done, actually, and here I am moving the second one. And this, this was, this was actually pretty fun to do, because it's like, I love doing the farms and stuff. The one realm I am with my college friends, I have Iron Golem. I have an iron farm. I made the mob farm. And I made one more farm. And I made this same replica farm. And I just like making the automated like farm stuff. And it's, it's pretty fun to do. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much going to wrap the video. I noticed that, like, if you watch it and you're not subscribed, that's crazy because it's like 50%, but it's like also like 8 views, so it's like 4 people, so I could get, I could get ha, unless I get some more views, ha, ha. I'm just kidding. Um, basically, yeah, this is the first half of the mob spawner. See you guys pretty soon because I will pump that one out probably the next couple of days. Bye-bye.